Hi, this video is a part of machine learning from scratch playlist. In this playlist, I explain different machine learning algorithms implemented from scratch using Python. You can download the relevant Python files from the link given in the description of each video. Note that I do not code long, rather I make use of pen for explaining the tricky parts of code so that you people can read the notebooks and Python files and understand them yourself and even re-implement them yourself. I'm expecting my audience to be well versed with machine learning, general understanding, and they just need little hints for implementation of these algorithms from scratch. In this video, I'll explain implementation of fuzzy clustering. Specifically, fuzzy C-means and fuzzy gustafsson Kiesel algorithm, also known as fuzzy GK algorithm. There is a minor difference between the two in which uh, in fuzzy C-means we use uh, Euclidean distance, but in fuzzy uh, GK algorithm, we, we make use of spatial input, input space uh, spatial pattern uh, where we are making use of Mahalanobi's distance and specifically fuzzy Mahalanobi's distance. Let's understand this idea in detail and let's jump to the whiteboard. Let's begin our understanding by looking at the difference between k-means and fuzzy clustering. So in k-means we have hard cluster assignments where we assign a sample to one of the cluster. For example, sample number one is assigned to cluster number two, sample number two is assigned to cluster number one, sample number three is assigned to cluster number one, sample number four is assigned to cluster number two. But in fuzzy clustering, the idea is that there is kind of uncertainty in association of a sample to a cluster. So what we say is sample number one is assigned to cluster number two with membership of 0 0.8. It means it has a very great association with cluster two, but uh, there is an association with cluster one also with a membership of 0 0.2. So there is an uncertainty of 20%. We could, if, if intuitively I want to, if I may say intuitively. And the same goes for sample number two. So it is more associated with cluster one with a membership of 0 0.9. But there is also 0 0.1 uh, membership for cluster number two. So there is less uncertainty in sample number two uh, and uh, even lesser uncertainty in sample number four, where there is only 0 0.05 uh, membership for cluster number one and 0 0.95 membership value for cluster number two. So in a way, we are incorporating the uncertainty in the form of memberships. And uh, this is what we call fuzziness. The more fuzziness is, so the more kind of uncertainty we can incorporate. So this is kind of a hyperparameter. Now, how do basically clustering works? Any clustering work? Any clustering work by initializing the memberships, uh, initializing uh, the class centers basically, but in fuzzy clustering, we initialize the memberships. So in K means we can initialize this hard assignments. Uh, so this is like initialization step. In each clustering algorithm, the initialization, initialization step is there. Then we update the class center. Then we calculate the distance of samples from that class centers. Then we update the assignments or the membership values in case of uh, fuzzy clustering. Now, this whole thing is really simple and I hope you know about it. But in case of fuzzy clustering, we are dealing with two different kind of algorithms. One is fuzzy C-means and another one is fuzzy Gustafsson-Kiesel algorithm. In fuzzy C-means, what we are saying is that we use regular Euclidean distance from what you call this uh, class center and the samples. But in fuzzy gustafsson kiesel algorithm, in GK algorithm, what we say is that no, instead of simple Euclidean distance, use Mahalanobi's distance and even use the fuzzy form of Mahalanobi's distance. So this is because we are dealing with membership values. So we also uh, have to incorporate that uh, in finding out this covariance matrix. So Mahalanobi's distance make use of covariance matrix. And what is the benefit of that? The benefit is that it captures the spatial continuity in space. So this is like uh, finding out the hidden structure and making use of the, that hidden structure or hidden pattern inside the data. So this is usually uh, better whenever there is kind of a, a correlation between input feature space or there is some kind of a pattern. So I hope so you, you, you know about this spatial continuity uh, uh, kind of a concept. Uh, and the importance of this Mahalanobi's distance. If you know about it, so you will understand the importance of fuzzy GK algorithm. But uh, fuzzy C means is also very well known and uh, it's more of, it's it's used oftenly. Now let me show this whole thing um, in coding uh, that you will understand it more clearly. Let me just jump to the coding part where we initialize this class. Then in fitting function, in the fit function, we do these four things. First of all, we initialize these memberships. After initializing, we update the class centers based on the data and membership values. Then we calculate the distance. And after calculating the distance, we update uh, these uh, memberships. So initializing the memberships, updating the centers, class centers, calculating the distance, updating again the membership. And then breaking when, whenever the threshold is uh, value is achieved, the change is minimum. Okay, so what we do is, in the initializing membership function, we just uh, 
uh, randomly initialize the membership for each of the class and cl uh, cluster uh, given a different number of clusters. Uh, suppose if there are th three clusters, so we will be having total number of samples, comma clusters, metrics. Now, this, these lines are just to make the values equal to one. So this is like normalization so that uh, the clusters sum to one. Okay. Why? Because uh, probabilities always add to one and uncertainty, incorporating uncertainty is actually finding out the probability of a sample association with the class center. Now, once we have initialized the membership, then what we do is we update the class centers. In fuzzy clustering, we update the, if we are dealing uh, with the soft clusters, uh, not hard clusters, in a way, if you are dealing with membership values, so we update class centers using this formula. This might seem little difficult. Let me, let me, let me. Uh, show you the formula this is the formula for updating the class center in case of uh, fuzzy uh, fuzzy clustering algorithm so what is this so if you look at it this is these are the membership values this m is a fuzziness uh, parameter this is input data and this is summation of all of uh, the membership values fuzzy membership values so if we look at it here in the coding part so this is actually multiplying the fuzziness value with the membership and this is just uh, uh, the numerator part and this is the denominator part so we update the class centers once we updated the class centers then we calculate the fuzzy covariance matrix then we calculate the uh, distance basically and if we are using simple c means algorithm then we do not need to worry about this part and even this covariance part we just have to calculate the uh, uh, euclidean distance or any other Mahan uh, manhattan distance or any other distance between the class centers and the data points so this 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 line is enough for calculating the distance but if we are using the gk algorithm in that case what we will do is we will calculate uh, the fuzzy covariance matrix what is the formula for that let me show you the formula for that but you can search it out and explain it and explore it uh, yourself so this is basically if we look at it this is basically uh, finding out uh, uh setting the stage for finding out the fuzzy covariance matrix so the function is actually calculating this this whole thing and inside that we have this s star s star is calculated by multiplying this fuzzy membership with this difference of uh, class centers and samples let me show you in code how i have encoded it so this is again uh, that fuzzy membership where i multiply the membership with the fuzziness index then what we do is we calculate the difference this difference is x minus class centers then the left value is multiplying this whole thing uh, together uh, this is what i am doing this fuzzy membership is multi uh, this is num uh, this is a dot product uh, of difference uh, with itself so this is like a uh, x minus class grade centers multiplied by x minus class grade centers transpose so then we multiply it with this fuzzy membership value and we divide it by fuzzy membership values so we get the value of s star then we take the determinant of this s star and we take the power with respect to minus 1 by p where p is the number of dimensions total number of features and then again we multiply it with the s star so we get uh, the fuzzy covariance matrix this is what we are doing here i am taking the determinant part and uh, i am uh, then after taking the determinant part i am multiplying with this minus 1 by dimension part and then multiplying again with the s star part so left is actually s star so once we calculate this this part then we calculate the fuzzy covariance matrix by simply multiplying this difference value with the fuzzy covariance inverse we take the inverse of this si that we just calculated that we just calculated here so if you look at it this is what we are doing so we are taking uh, the inverse of whatever i have calculated in after taking the determinant and multiplying it with the dimension and a star part i take the inverse of it and after taking the inverse uh, i just uh, uh, i just uh, uh, append it and store it in the list so we have the fuzzy covariance inverse matrix up till now using this function once we have that then what we do is uh, we calculate the mahalanobis distance and mahalanobis distance is actually calculated using this whole part where i multiply this s inverse that i just i have just calculated uh, by multiplying with this difference transpose and this difference so i am calculating this difference and the covariance inverse and uh, this is how i get the mahalanobis distance i think so if you understand the formula then you can implement it even yourself it is really simple i have broken down broken it down into uh, two classes one one where i calculate the fuzzy covariance and another one where i calculate the mahalanobis distance using that fuzzy covariance matrix uh, why i have done it because um, it's easier to uh, to understand uh, separately this fuzzy covariance matrix and it can be used even elsewhere so if you have this logic for fuzzy covariance matrix then it's better i think so okay
once we have calculated the distance we update the membership and you can find out the updating part anywhere in internet the formula where uh, how can you update the memberships for fuzzy clustering algorithm so this is just making use of uh, uh, the distance uh, or we, uh, so given the distance matrix uh, we update the class centers and membership values uh, so once membership values are updated then again we update the class center then again we calculate the fuzzy covariance matrix and then this thing repeats again and again so this is how fuzzy clustering works if you are not making use of gk clustering algorithm then the whole thing is extremely extremely simple uh, but if you are making use of gk clustering algorithm which is robust in capturing the uh, spatial continuity and spatial patterns uh, then uh, the, if you understand the formula then again it's easy it's it's not a difficult part i hope so it makes sense now the clustering part makes sense now